Victor Nepomieshi, director of the Kokoski Nature Reserve, has repeatedly noted that Agafya Karpona is supported by many different people. But the special attention of Oleg Deripaska helps the events in the Tega hut to develop at cosmic speed. First, the Tega woman was brought a new stove, because the old one smoked and did not heat at all. And Agafya Karpona is already 76 years old, she would like to winter warm. Many people in our country are following the fate of Agafya Lykova and are divided into exactly two camps. Some believe that the Tega hermit needs to be taken to the mainland by force, so as not to spend money on help. Others are categorically against and are sure that it is important to leave her where she is used to and support her in every possible way. After all, this is mercy. Agafya Karpana herself decided this issue long ago. And he continues to live in the upper reaches of the Abokan. But the woman is already 74 years old, she is no longer able to do without an assistant and without help. Every month we receive parcels from all over the country for Agafya Lykova. And this year a well-known philanthropist in our republic offered his help. And public figure Oleg Vladimirovich Deripaska. I decided to help and helped, like hundreds of others, said Viktor Napomniachi, director of the Kokoski Nature Reserve. Where is the Lykov's colony? We hope that his help is not one time, it will continue. We have reason to believe that he will not leave without the support of such a unique person as Agafya Lykov. Agafya's house is in need of repair, it is called, the buildings are very dilapidated, there is a lot of work on the land. The first step has already been taken, this time they brought and installed a new metal furnace. The old one barely warmed up and smoked heavily, it was impossible to sleep. But Agafya Karpana will spend this winter at the new stove. Life in the Tega, far from civilization, is not an easy task, creating living conditions is the main task before wintering. It seemed to me that Oleg Vladimirovich's help was sincere, and Agafya Karpana thanked him more than once from the bottom of her heart. As always, they brought basic necessities, these are fabrics, a large aluminum kettle. So that he constantly stood on the stove and had enough for tea and household needs. From the products, as usual, they brought cereals, honey, fruits, dried fruits. There are no health complaints, although she spent the last month alone, without an assistant. He called it in the summer of this year, a relative, cousin Anton Likov lived for the first time with Agafya Lykova. Allegedly, his ancestors and ancestors of Agafya hail from one village of old believers in the Novgorod region, Lykovo. So Anton himself claims. There is a big doubt that Anton and Agafya are relatives, but since the hermit recognized him. Let it be a relative. Anton is an old believer, a year ago he was visiting, he came to help with this. In the winter we were expecting an assistant from among the old believers, but fate so happened that the trip did not take place and I had to look for a new person. The son of Eurofisidov, Nikolai, agreed to help Agafya Karpana, said Viktor Nepomiashi. Eurofisidov, geologist, he was part of the expedition, who first discovered the Lika family and then lived for a long time at the settlement. In May 2015, he died, and his son Nikolai tries to come every year to his father's grave and helps Agafya. There is an agreement that he will stay until spring, so as not to take people there once again, we must take care of it. In addition, she knows Nikolai well, she does not need to get used to him. This stove for the hermit was only a temporary solution to the problem, because the hut literally collapses. And here once again Oleg Vladimirovich Deripaska helped. As soon as he received a letter written by Agafya Karpona's hand with a request for a new hut, the work immediately began to boil. And although the hermit lives in the taiga, there is nothing to build a hut from, there is a reserve all around, you cannot cut trees. Therefore, the hut was first completely assembled in a Balkan, then all of its parts were numbered, disassembled and taken to capture. Delivery is the most expensive and time-consuming part of this unusual construction project. Now the most difficult stage is the delivery of lumber, Victor Napomniachi also confirms. Everything is complicated by the inaccessibility of the territory of the Zomki-Lykov section. 
The dismantled hut was first brought in three cars on a tractor to a recreation center near the Ada River, 250 came from Agafia's dwelling. From there, the first batches were sent to the construction site by airboats. In total, at least 18. Such flights will be required, since one raft can hold no more than one and a half tons of cargo. Now only half of the building materials have been delivered. They bring not only timber and boards, but also insulation for the floor and roof, metal tiles, windows, doors. The size of the hut is 5.5 meters by 6 meters, plus a warm canopy with an area of about 13 square meters and a porch. In the hut itself there will be one room, without partitions, and this is more than 30 squares, this is for Agafya Karpana. Poops will live in the hallway and various household utensils will be stored. The hut will be built exactly as Agafya Karpana requested. Everything is coordinated with her to the smallest detail. And she also chose the place, she herself drew where the new hut should be. And what size and how everything will be inside. It cannot be in any other way. Otherwise, she simply will not accept her, Victor Napomnia she explained. There have already been such cases. Somehow they brought her a stove, as we thought, very good. And she said she was uncomfortable and refused. Construction in the Tega wilderness is also unusual in that it is impossible to bring an ordinary brigade here. Which, as they say, will build the object with high quality and in a short time. Only those whom Agafya Karpana knows and to whom she can entrust such an important matter to her can work here. Now there are three such people. I am sure that everything will be fine, but I would not name the completion date. Says the director of the Kokoski Reserve Victor Nakomiyashi. It depends on the weather, on the delivery of building materials. And in general it is better not to rush, the house is wooden, it must withstand. According to other sources, news appeared in the media that the builders of the new hut were in a hurry. And, most likely, the hermit Agafya Lykova will live in a new hut on New Year's holidays. Everything that will be inside the new hut has already been determined, nothing factory made, no modern materials. Only homemade wooden table, benches, shelves, a couch, but that's a completely different story. Which will start after the end of construction. Agafya Lykova was born on April 17, 1944 in the family of all believers of chapel consent, the Lykos. Who were forced to flee to deep forests due to religious persecution, where they lived their entire lives. Agafya's mother, Akulina Karpana, died in 1961, when Lykova was 17 years old. In 1978, geologists exploring the Siberian expanses during an expedition stumbled upon the capture of the Lykov family which at the time consisted of five people. In 1981, two brothers and a sister of Agafya Karpana died within three months. In 1988 her father also died. So she was left completely alone among the endless forest spaces. The woman asked to find her an au pair, as she is experiencing health problems. Those who wanted to help periodically appeared. But people didn't stay there. It is quite difficult there, far from civilization. Please share this video on your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. I ask you to go and watch other videos about Agafya Lykova, which you can see now on the screen in the end screen savers. There are a lot of rare and interesting facts about the hermit. Thank you all for watching.